Georgine called me. There's a couple kittens under the house. And she called on me because I'm little. I can go into crawl spaces. Lucky me. <laughs> Safety first. I was just going to ask if you saw any black widows. Baby, it's okay. It's okay. Here, I gotta give him to me. You want you want me to take him? Okay. Okay. It's a boy. But <laughs> you found him. Can you foster him? Oh, I, I'm Pat. I could call. I'll call my friend Patty Hooper, who has Heads to Tails Foundation, and see if she could foster. Hey, Georgine. Hi. How are you? Come on in. Come on in. Oh, the cat's out. Hey, it's from you. A gift. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone in town, I, I hope you can appreciate that we're really full. So uh, wait, let me just show you some of what oh, I've got in here. This is this is Opie. Yeah. Somebody dumped him at the store, and he walked in, and he just made himself at home. She was dipped in tar. What? Somebody just literally dipped her right up to her neck. Mm -hmm. These guys have come from all different places. They're from the shelter. Um, These are cute. Yeah, look, look at this one. Was only like a week old. Oh, bottle fed. Baby. These are brothers and sisters. I think I know what I need to do. Thank you for considering. Okay. Okay. Um, well, hi. Guess who's got two more foster kittens? You. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to rescue. I left Frank, my producer, in charge of the little feral kittens that I just caught. <laughs> so um, I gotta call him and see how he's doing. Frank speaking. No problem. I'm, I'm in the bathroom babysitting uh, and I'll probably sit in here for a couple more hours. Okay, take care. Bye bye. Okay. Caring for animals is something like you do, which helps to fund the other organizations. I, I, I see you as more of a hubcap. Thank you. No, no offense. No, I, I feel like a hubcap. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but I mean, you feed so many spokes, and then, and then on the outside, you know, where, where the tread is, that's where all our little darlings are. At. People say you only care about animals. How come you don't help people? What they really need to know, you talk about, was a brilliant analogy: spokes and a wheel and a hubcap. It is helping people. It is. Well, they have definitively yeah. proved it after years of study. Every serial killer tortured animals. Yes. Uh, yes. Every violent man started, you know, on the animals mm -hmm. at home and women. And um, what you need to know is, we go into homes where there's animal abuse. We can get an animal officer out quickly, uh, more quickly sometimes than a, a child welfare case officer, mm -hmm. and then animal officer knows that those kids are at risk and very often the wives or girlfriends are getting beat up by the guy who's beating up the dog we take out. We get everyone out of that house. I just want to say only for animals would I let you shoot me in natural light during a schwitzfest. fest.